Good morning. It is 459 on Wednesday, July the 24th. I'm Will Puckett. Thank you for tuning in to Mountain News this morning. Well, yesterday ended up being gorgeous and this morning some of you might say it's downright chilly. Let's bring in meteorologist Kelly McShane to give us a better breakdown of what should we expect when the sun comes up. Kelly, good morning. Good morning, Will, and I can't even tell you when the last time we saw these 50 degree low temperatures, but overall definitely a chilly morning, but it's a clear morning. You can see that here on satellite and radar looping. It doesn't even look like it's moving, but that's over the last hour or so, but we are quiet as far as clouds and rainfall go. Visibility though, because of those clear skies, that fog is able to settle in to some of those valley regions. So be careful if you are traveling early this morning. I'll have that full forecast in just a little bit, Will. All righty, Kelly. Thank you, ma'am. Well, a Southern Kentucky man is accused of kidnapping his own wife and kids. Aaron Deese is in the Knox County Jail. Police say he was arrested after his wife claimed he forced her at gunpoint to take her and the kids to North Carolina. From jail, Deese says they did go to North Carolina. He wanted to go there to see relatives. Police say his wife somehow escaped. They say how exactly she got away and came back to Kentucky remains under investigation. D says she's making it all up, all because of marital problems. I, I literally want to hear in court because she was never at any point in time had a gun pointed at her directly. In court records, Dees is accused of telling his wife that after the kids were dropped off with family in North Carolina, she was to drive to Florida where he would kill the man that she had been texting. Now, the Knox County deputies say they are still investigating the case with assistance from police in North Carolina. Police say the children are staying with other relatives. An Amber Alert continues for a missing four-year-old girl in West Virginia. Police in West Virginia are looking for Grace Lynn Scritchfield. They think she was abducted by her father, Arlie Trey Hetrick. Police say she may be in extreme danger. The two may be in a gold 2001 Subaru Forester with the West Virginia license plate. If you see them, call police. Well, deputies over in Pulaski County are on the lookout for thousands of dollars worth of stolen lawn care equipment. Deputies say the equipment was stolen sometime Monday. Investigators say the thieves cut a lock on a garage door to get to the equipment. The owner says he does have insurance to cover some of the loss. Well, police officers in Pike County are warning people to exercise caution when dealing with cash transactions. They say a rise in counterfeit money circulation has hit the area. Pikeville Police Department Detective Bruce Collins says many $100 bills have been brought to the attention of the department. He says the money could easily pass an authentic upon for, as authentic upon first glance and urges people to look a little deeper. And there's some certain things that you can look for uh, that are that are quick giveaways that the bill that you receive may be counterfeit. Collins says some of those warning signs include Chinese characters printed on the money, a bill with no watermark, and a dashed line present in the top corner of the bills. Well, a car ran into a family dollar store in Manchester yesterday afternoon. Police say a water bottle, bottle fell into the floorboard and the driver could not hit the brakes. The driver and a passenger in the car were taken to the hospital. Police expect them to be okay. Well, family and friends are remembering a 12 year old girl killed in an ATV crash in Wolf County. Deputies say Macy Morris died Friday. The Morgan County coroner tells us Macy was driving the ATV when it flipped over and hit her in the head. She was rushed to the Morgan County ARH hospital where she died. The coroner says Macy was not wearing a helmet or a seatbelt. He also says Macy's two cousins were on the ATV during the incident, but were not injured. She went to Red River Elementary School. It's just been so difficult. You know, we had an administrator's meeting today and it, it took us an hour to get past just mourning the loss of this kid. Uh, everybody's just so heartbroken for the family. Grief counselors will be at the school today through Friday from 9 in the morning to 2 in the afternoon. School officials say they will make additional arrangements if necessary. A Floyd County crash earlier this year nearly killed one teenager. After being in a coma in a vegetative state, she needed to learn how to do everyday tasks all over again. WIMT's Marianne Fletcher caught up with her during an occupational therapy session yesterday. Doc, I could be dead. This is Kate Lackey. And God save me. She has been through a lot this year. I got a phone call late one night that my sister had been in a wreck and I needed to get to Pikeville Medical Center. Her sister, Michelle Scott, remembers those terrifying moments. But she had a severe traumatic brain injury, multiple brain bleeds. Although Kate cannot recall. Do you remember anything about the crash? No. They told me that I would never remember it. 
Following a crash in February, doctors did not believe she would ever live a normal life. I couldn't walk. They had to teach me about how to walk again. Skills that many take for granted every day. I have two completely different persons as far as the treatment aspect goes. Keith Boggs is one of Kate's physical therapy assistants. We worked on a lot of balance and coordination. With her strong attitude. I think my mom raised me like that. Kate continues to shock her doctors. Amazing. She's a true miracle, and multiple doctors that have seen her say that her reports don't match her. <laughs> but this teen still has a long road ahead of her. Like today, I probably won't remember that much being here. Keeping her head high and her mind strong. In Pike County, Marianne Fletcher, WYMT Mountain News. Now, though she is progressing, the road to recovery will be a long one. Kate Lackey's doctors say she will still need multiple more years of therapy. Well, thank you for getting your day started with us right here on Mountain News. This morning, later, we take a look at a pair of breweries in Iowa working together to pour for a purpose. Sunshine, sunshine, and more sunshine is what we can expect today. I'll tell you how long it will last and when our next rain chance is coming up next.